Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Hey guys, welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Kayla, and on today's rules recipe, we are looking at King Domino. The ingredients for King Domino include 48 dominoes, 8 king pieces, a rule book, starting tiles, and your castle. To set up King Domino, each player receives a starting tile, castle, and king of their color. Then shuffle the dominoes, place them back in the box, and then take four out. Put these dominoes in ascending order, and then flip them over. To determine starting order, take all the kings into a hand, and pick one at random to be the starting player. Yellow. To start the game, the starting player takes their king meeple and places it on the domino they wish to take. Next, take another king at random out of the hand and that player will then get to choose next. Continue until all the kings are placed. Next, draw out four more tiles from the box and again place them in ascending order and then flip them over. The person whose king is at the top of the pile takes their domino, places it in front of them connected to their starting tile, and then places their king on a domino in the next row. Repeat this until all the dominoes are gone and all the other dominoes have been selected. Continue to claim, place, and draw dominoes until the box is empty. Once all the dominoes have been drawn, placed, claimed, or discarded, the game ends and you can count your score. When placing a domino, note that the center square that you start with is considered wild. You may place any type of terrain against the wild. When placing further tiles, you have to again match terrain. This one matches neither of the terrains, so I'd have to play it off of my wild. This domino matches two terrain types I already have within my kingdom. I could place it anywhere where I could match at least one type of terrain. Note when placing tiles, you have to keep it to a 5x5 five five grid. You can go no higher and no wider than five squares a piece. For this one, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six high, so you wouldn't be able to lay the domino that way. You could lay it on its side, though. Occasionally, you may get stuck with a domino that either doesn't fit or you can't match the terrain type on either side of the dominoes. In which case, you just have to discard that one and not use it. There'll be holes in your kingdom. Once all the dominoes have been drawn, placed, discarded, used, and there are no more in the box, you'll begin scoring your kingdom. To begin scoring, you'll identify different types of territories connected. For each territory type, you'll need a crown to score, at least one. Take the number of territory tile squares times the number of crowns that you have in that grouping. That will be your point for that territory. So in instance, for this wheat, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares times one crown for seven points. The wheat grouping at the bottom wouldn't score because there's no crown attached to it. If there had been, I would have been able to score it. Once you've taken all your groupings, multiplied the crowns by the squares, you add up your totals for each territory and get your final score. The player with the highest score wins the game. In the event of a tie, the player with the largest territory, which is the most connecting squares of the same terrain type, wins. If there's still a tie, the players share the victory. If you play this game two-player, each player receives two king meeples instead of one. One starting tile and one castle, of course, that match the color of their king. As a beginner, you could play with 24 randomly selected dominoes from the box, which means you're only playing with half of them and play pretty much the same way you've already seen. The exception is, is you use both kings to claim two different dominoes when drawing, placing, and claiming. In a three player game, not all the dominoes will be selected. The one that isn't chosen will be discarded. 
Once you become a pro, there are a couple additional variations you can play with. In a two-player game, you could use all 48 dominoes so that each player creates a 7x7 seven seven grid instead of a 5x5. Five five. Another variant is called Harmony. You get 5 extra points if your kingdom completes a 5x5 five five or 7x7 seven seven grid with no gaps. Players can get 10 extra bonus points if their castle is at the center of their kingdom. Lastly, if you're having so much fun, you can play three games in a row, and the player with the highest of total points will win the game. Make sure you agree to these before you start playing. Hope you liked our rules explanation on King Domino. Go check out our channel for all the other videos on this game and more. Keep on nibbling!